time to know the top stories of the day. I am Jenny Arado and this is News Bits Tonight. Vendors believe that pork supply in Davao City may not be able to meet the demands in Luzon should the ASF-stricken provinces decide to source out meat here. Rob Gumba for the details. As some provinces in Luzon have already been reported to be stricken with African swine fever, it is possible that they may decide to source out raw materials in other parts of the country. Given this possibility, Luchay Kabigting, Bangkerohan Meat Vendor Association advisor, said Davao City's current pork supply may not be enough to supply for those in Luzon. On the other hand, Hog Farmers Association of Davao Incorporated Past President Alvin Tevez said the combined number of hog farmers and groups in Mindanao will still be able to supply the rising pork meat demand in Luzon. Among these groups are South Cotabato Swine Producers Association, Corona del Valley Livestock Growers Multipurpose Cooperative, and the North Mindanao Hogs. Kabigting said there will be a natural increase of pork meat prices should the demand also increase. This increase, she said, may however be abused by some hog raisers by raising the cost of live pigs. Kabigting added, because of the high price set by hog raisers for live pigs, the government is compelled to import pork from other countries. This importation, she believed, triggered the entry of ASF in the Philippines. Rob Gumba, Newsbits Tonight. The city government gives 3.5 million pesos financial assistance for areas affected by Typhoon Quell. The 3.5 million pesos earmarked by the Davao City Government will be donated to the seven areas in Luzon that declared a state of calamity following Typhoon Quell. These provinces include Apayao and Cagayan, which will receive 1 million pesos each. On the other hand, Cagayan Municipality, specifically Alakapan, Abulog, Kamalanyogan, Santa Praxedes, and Claveria will be given 300,000 pesos each. The donations were already delivered in check through the City Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office. The Davao City Government had in the past been giving financial assistance to neighboring provinces and municipalities hit by natural calamities. Just last week, 4.2 million pesos financial assistance was given to earthquake-hit provinces of Davao del Sur and Cotabato as well as the cities of Dicos and Kidapawan. It also included the municipalities of Mlang, Matalam, Magpet, and Hagonoy. To check more stories, visit our website www.sunstar.com.ph slash Davao. Subscribe on our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also grab a copy of Sunstar Davao at Davao Central Convenience Stores, 7-Eleven, and nearest news outlets. And that's all you need to know for tonight. Good evening.